Well, tomorrow marks three years since the killing of Brian Terry, the Border Patrol agent whose death helped expose the Fast and Furious botched gun running scandal. William Lajeunesse is live from Los Angeles. He's been following this story for some time. What do you know, William? Well, Gresham, we know this was not a botched investigation by rogue agents, as the administration claimed. There was no plan to catch criminals or stop guns. What we don't know is how many died because of it or what top officials really knew. Three years have gone by, and we still wonder why. From a death in the desert to contempt hearings on Capitol Hill, three years after Border Patrol agent Brian Terry died, the family still has questions. We know who in ATF and U.S. Attorney's Office uh, were found negligent in putting this operation into place that resulted in the death of Brian Terry, but we still don't know why. Terry's murder prompted ATF agent John Dodson to blow the whistle on a government-approved operation that allowed thousands of guns into Mexico, where they killed countless innocent victims. Mr. Attorney General, I didn't ask you a question. Congress also still wants answers. We don't know why we were lied to by Department of Justice and why for 10 months they continued to push a false story about not letting guns walk. Attorney General Eric Holder was held in contempt and the House sued to obtain what it believes are incriminating documents that show who knew what about the operation. I'm particularly disappointed with this president because President Obama himself asserted a privilege not to allow documents that show false statements and cover-up to Congress to be revealed. The Terry family is appealing a ruling that it cannot sue the federal government. No one was ever fired or lost their pension, though an agent did lose his life. We'll go to bed with another prayer that no other American law enforcement officer will lose his life like Brian did because of the guns of Operation Fast and Furious. Now, the fight now is in federal court over emails and documents that the White House claims are privileged, that the House lawyers say may tell them about what the president and the attorney general knew about this operation. Gretchen? Wow, hard to believe it's been three years. Thank you so much, William.